Hey, welcome back everybody. As you can see, I've changed locations from my desk to a small table where it will support this behemoth of a yakisoba weighing in about, I think, 800 grams, 878 grams, all accounting to 4,184 calories. You may be able to hear all some weird background noises such as a droning sound or maybe even water boiling because that's exactly what we're doing. Unfortunately, my electric kettle cannot handle making a whopping 2,200 milliliters that's required to cook this sucker up. Therefore, I'm deploying a two front attack on this sucker. Please observe my water making. First, electric kettle going wild. IH stove boiling some water over here. Alrighty, now that the water is done boiling, why don't we just open the sucker up and see what's inside? Oh man, this is not the kind of unboxing I'm used to, but wow, to my surprise, it is one giant thing. Okay, so when I thought I felt two different things, I'm sure it's two different noodles then. Holy cow, look at this thing. Oh my God. And once again, it warns you to not eat this by yourself. So you know, this is gonna be quite the challenge. Let's. I suppose now is the time to take this thing into the kitchen to start construction. All right, meet you there. Woo! Alrighty, let's open this sucker up. Holy cow, is that everything? Two sauces, two packages of dried crap, dried spices, furikake and pepper to be exact. Oh my God, we just toss it in like that. All right, let's put the water in here. This is the first liter. And then in goes our boiled water that we boiled ourselves. Seems about that much is fine. That looks good. We spilled a whole bunch everywhere, but that's okay. Seal it. And then in three minutes, we'll be back. All right, voila. And it's done cooking. Now all we gotta do is mix these two in. Time to mix up a brew. <laughs> I wish I had tongs, this is a mistake. Alrighty guys, now that this is complete and I would say mostly mixed, I got a little lazy, not gonna lie. Um, We can finally start eating. But before that, the box does warn us to never eat this by yourself. At least eat it with another person, right? Likely a friend, but unfortunately, kind of don't have those. But nevertheless, I brought friends of my own because I think the biggest challenge in this is actually not consuming it all, but having it not get boring. So, I'd like to introduce to you guys a lot of cool friends. Mentaiko, umeboshi, or pickled plums, relish. We will have our sauces. Now get ready, folks, because we have a lot. Soy sauce, yakiniku sauce, Tabasco, and from Indonesia, this amazing spicy sauce, sambal. Traveling a little bit north, we've got, from Korea, bulldog sauce, Excuse my pronunciation. I have no idea how to pronounce this, but I know this is the stuff you get in that Samyang noodles, and that is that stuff's amazing. We got Rudy's barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, but not only mayonnaise. We have spicy mentaiko mayonnaise, ketchup, and also ketchup poached eggs. With all that being said, now we only have the task of consuming this monster of a yakisoba. Now we are going to time this thing because I am curious how long this is going to take for me to eat it, if I can even eat it. So let's, uh, let's put a timer on. Stopwatch. Let's go. Uh, and we've begun. All right. Do I have a strategy? No. Do I have a beverage? Yes, I do have water right by my side. But I think we're just going to eat as much as we can until we get bored and then we move on and put something else on here. Now, maybe this wasn't exactly the right choice. Like, this is kind of impossible to pick up. Let me go grab actual chopsticks. Alrighty, 
And I'm back. I may have just waited for wasted 40 seconds of my time, but oh well. Let's just go in. Let's just see how much we can eat this. Grab the fork. Decide to go fork rather than chopstick. So I guess um have fun watching me eat. Okay, it's been <clears throat> 10 minutes now, and I would say I am bored of this flavor. Let's try, let's try spicing it up. With what though? You know, we'll go with yakiniku sauce. I haven't had myself, ooh, excuse me, yakiniku in a while. So, like the natto, maybe it will, it will ease to, probably ease my craving a little bit, but. I don't expect it to fix it. Shake it up a little bit and then let's just let's just pour some on there. Ooh, forgot to take this do hicker off. Ooh. Alright, there we go. Well we put something in there. And then I would say in another quadrant, let's go. Let's go some Tabasco. Spice things up a little bit. Maybe not a quadrant, but another section, you know. Now, every bite we take should taste a little different than what we've been eating for the last 10 minutes regretfully eating at least <clears throat> Woo. this is definitely i don't think this will be done in an hour if i'm being perfectly honest now i am already a little full but i'll resume the videos i am watching and then we'll try to get through as much as we can if i'm being perfectly honest tabasco is not the right move This change in flavor really helps. Change in flavor, change in texture. I'm being completely honest, guys. I hit a blockade real hard and I'm going to take a little break before I come back to this sucker. Um, we'll see how long that'll take. I'm like just under halfway through, but we are feeling very full. I'll come back to this. I'm going to take a little break right now. Maybe go on a walk, maybe I'll probably go on a walk to be honest. I just want to do something. I don't think I can just sit here one sitting, you know? You know what I mean? But with that being said, I'll be back. 